Hi everyone, it's Tammy and it's time to do my plan with me. This is my grape uh, carpe diem. <laughs> Easy for me to remember, huh? And my little stand is crooked, so I'm going to move it for just a second. So sorry if I'm moving you guys too much. Ooh, that's better. Okay, so um, I just have stuff piled up here. My workspace has gotten smaller and smaller and smaller. I hope some of you guys do that too because it drives me bananas, but I continue to do it. I need to put embossing powder away and glitter glue. It's just insane. I have nail polish over here that I haven't even worn. <sighs> okay, so enough about that. All right, so this is my plum paper planner and we are going to be planning the first full week of October. If I can find it. Here we go. It is the 2nd through the 8th, and the 4th is my son's birthday, and this weekend is homecoming at Taylor, which is also parent weekend, so we're going to have some fun this week. And I don't have any doctor's appointments, so that's a nice surprise too. Sorry, I'm trying to turn my calendar to October the monthly so that I can see what's going on. Oh, and it's also Jambo and Fuzz's birthday on the 2nd. So, yay. All right, so I'm getting my carpet clean too. Woohoo. All right, I am going to be using this kit from Peekaboo Planning. I am a PR gal for, the, for her and her name is Jessica and she is wonderful. And her link is below along with my discount code. So, and if you use my discount code, you can get my freebie, which is also really cool. So yay, another reason. Um, I am going to go ahead and start doing my washi, I think. And also down below, you will see all of the members went to the Plan With Me design group. And it's just a bunch of people that are very supportive of each other and enjoy planning and we all post a video on YouTube so their channels are linked below and uh, we all have different styles different planners different everything but at the same time it's cool to have support and know that you know you're you're doing something that other people enjoy too it's just really kind of a neat little planner world so I got out this brown washi, and I know that she always includes a sticker sheet of washi, which is fun, glittery washi. I'm thinking though I want to use this, and I might even use this. And this is the only like big washi that I have, like thick washi for this kit that came with it. So I'm gonna put some pink up here, I think. That looks all right from what I can tell, especially with the when I get the stickers on there, I think it'll look even better. That's not straight, and it's, goodness gracious, I can't pick it up. There we go. It's not straight, and it's all hairy from my cats. Jambo was just up here. I don't know if that will cut it. Sometimes the glitter washi is a little harder to cut. I'm going to go all the way to where this washi is. trash bag is falling off. It's a big one. It's a TJ Maxx bag and it's huge. But you know, I have a lot of trash when I'm working. I was just doing the 12 cards of Halloween and I had a ton of trash, you know, paper trash and all that from scraps and whatnot. So my other trash bag got full, so I had this one handy, so I used that. And then now, at the top, I'm going to put the Day of the Week stickers. Here they are. And I will start with Monday the 2nd. And then I'll just put all of these on there first. Tuesday the 3rd. 
Wednesday the 4th. Happy birthday, baby boy. He's going to be 18. It's insane. Thursday the 5th. Friday the 6th. Saturday the 7th. And Sunday the 8th. Alright, so then now I can stick these down. And I'm just going to go up a little bit. I'm just going to go right to the top of the day, I think, that's on there so that I can put some washi below it and not take up too much space in the actual planner part. Tuesday, I'm going to go right above again. I'm saying that more for me so I'll remember. Boom, boom, ba -doom, boom, ba -doom. So I hope you guys have had a good week. It's been a little bit of a stressful week for me this week with work and stuff, but um, it's getting better and it's going all right, so that's good. And I'm going to have a great weekend and a great next week, so that's cool. Um, this weekend I'm getting my daughter and her boyfriend and they're coming here and on sun Saturday we're going to go to the apple orchard and then we're also going to go to the escape room so I'm looking forward to that I believe that they are too so now I think I'm gonna put pink and then I'll put the brown maybe or should I do the brown and then the pink? I don't know. I have to go all the way up here. Whew, I'm not kidding. My eyes are like totally weird. It's hard to see some things. I it's bizarro to me. I don't and I'm I have an appointment to get them checked. Uh, it was going to be this week, but they wanted to schedule it on the 4th, which is my son's birthday, so I asked to get the week after. So I think that's when we scheduled it, either that week or the week after that. I don't remember which, but it's coming up. Yeah, I think I like that. I'm kind of wondering though. I kind of think I need a little piece right there. I think I'm just going to pull this up and then put this down. Sometimes this uh, glittery, well the skinny washi, not glittery, doesn't matter if it's glittery or not, sometimes the skinny washi is harder to put down than the thicker washi, at least it is to me. Oh, crazy with cutting this glitter. So I will just use my scissors. My scissors. So my son is in home ec, like, um, they don't call it home ec anymore. 
foods or something. I don't know what they call it, but it's a it's it's a foods class where he has to learn to cook stuff and all of that. And he was excited about it because, well, he loves to eat, and he was thinking that this would be a good class to learn some skills. And not that I can't teach him and haven't. I mean, I have taught him some things, but um, he also, frankly, thought it would probably be an easy grade and there'd be a lot of girls in it, and he would, you know, it would help his GPA and all that jazz. So he took that class and. Uh, he, I, he asked me what was for dinner tonight, and I said, I don't know, what are you going to cook? And I said, you are in home ec after all. And he said, um, Mom, it is so easy. We don't cook anything. All we do is eat some of the stuff that she made, and we, um, we like had a test, I think he said today or this week or whatever, over the microwave, and he put like a he was all laughing and I was like what the heck I said what do you mean over the microwave and he was like yeah like how to operate it and I said you mean like don't push the popcorn button when you have a potato in there and he was like yeah and I was like oh my goodness so I said does that mean you're not making dinner and he said unless you want popcorn <laughs> smart aleck If I really wanted him to cook dinner, he would. He's actually pretty good. He used to help me quite a bit. Um, he's kind of gotten out of that, but he really, he, he, he cooked a lot more than Katie did, and he seemed to enjoy it a lot more than she did too, which was way cool. But that's been probably three years ago the, you know, like, he hasn't done it for at least three years, I feel like, I'm not sure, I, you know, when things like that are going on, you don't realize that that's the last time it's going to happen, or whatever. Okay, so then I have these full boxes, and I'm going to use those, and I put at least one full box on every day, and one of the check boxes on every day. So let's start that up. And I think that these are made for the Erin Condren, but obviously you can use them for whatever you want. And the plum paper is pretty close to the same size. I think it's like just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit different. Tiny, tiny, tiny. <laughs> so are you guys ready for October? I think it's crazy that it's October. And it's still pretty warm here. Um, I live in Indiana and I live right in the middle of the state. And it is insanely warm for this time of year. And it has been like 90 degrees this week. It was crazy. Uh, it looks like it's going to cool down a little. But not near enough for me really I like it when it's 60 and I think it's still gonna be like 80 this weekend which is too daggone hot oh I shouldn't have put this one there because I really like this one and I put a weekend sticker there so let me let me see if I can find the weekend sticker she gives you so many stickers that sometimes it's hard to find some stuff which is a good problem to have. Oh, there's one. It says it's the weekend. Okay, looks like that's the only one. Sometimes she has two, and then I, well, I didn't know that, and I would put one on, and then I would find another one, and I'd be like, oh, I should have used that one. Um, but I didn't know it was there, so now I try to look first. So, let's see. Goodness. I might just put it down here. I don't know. I don't really like it down there. But up here it takes up so much room and it doesn't stick to the glitter or er, problems. Yeah, it doesn't stick to the glitter at all. And I don't want to put it all the way here. Maybe I'll just pretend like it sticks to the glitter and make it kind of stick. And then I can put some boxes underneath here. 
Maybe I can even glue it to the glitter because it's not going to stick. Okay, so let's see. I can put some... I kind of like those boxes. Let me see what... I mean, not that I have to use ones that I don't like. I'm not saying that. Here, these black ones might be good. Okay, so then if I put this here, does that get it? I still need a little bit more. Um, well, I guess I'll just use a black one and then I will also use a different color one. Let's do, let's just go ahead and do the white one. Oops. <laughs> oh, there we go. It's the weekend. I'm going to take some glue and see if I can get that to stick down. Will you stick down, please? On that glitter. I literally have my little table fan over here right on my on me and I'm still kind of sweating that's how warm it is still now I'm in the house obviously and we have air conditioning but this room is pretty warm anyway and it, it's very much tempered by the weather outside that made me think of the weather outside is frightful where? There they are. So I like to have at least one full box of checklists so that I have a place to write whatever I need to write in. And I mean, if I have more, that's great, but that's what I try to do, try to do, try to do. Kits like this are really cool to me too because you could use it for October, November, even September if you wanted to. I mean, it's good for Christmas and Hall or not Christmas, Halloween and Thanksgiving. I have some more specific Halloweeny ones that I will be doing later. last checkbox over here and then and I am a no white space planner I think that most of you probably know what that is, but in case it is um, someone like me who plans out their planner but um, doesn't leave any white space, I cover everything up with stickers. I just really like that look and it makes me work better. I guess it's the way that my brain functions best. those ones with the black I know that it matches but I kind of don't exactly like those I guess I can still write in black on that one but I don't know if I could write on black in these and make them be seen
don't really know what these are supposed to be. Do you guys know? It looks like it's supposed to be something. But I have no idea what. Hmm. Alright, so I'm almost there. You guys can see that there's just a little bit of white space left. So I'm going to take some of these put them around and I'm going to put a day of the week sticker over here and I think I'll put this book sticker here Well, that's what I'm going to use it for. I'm going to write the name of my book there, and then I can rate it however many stars I think it should get. This says Frye. That's kind of cute. And this one is the planner sticker. That's cute. Oh, no, it's not. I thought that was a planner. I was thinking that was an awfully cute planner. I wonder if there is a planner. Hmm. I may have spoken too soon on that one. Oh yeah, it's just a plain one. I have another one over here that I kind of like better, so I'll use that one. Okay, so let's fill this stuff in. I might just put another thing of washi right there, one of the glitter washies. And I really kind of like these orange boxes, so I'm going to use those first. And then I also like the pink boxes. And I, for some reason, that's weird for me because I would usually go for the leaves, but I really like these with the glittery dots in them. Oh, <laughs> I think that's so funny when that happens. take these. Let's do a pink one over here. And I'll do a brown one over here, gold or whatever color that is. So this page is done and then this page just needs a little bit more and maybe I'll use a couple of these. These are cute. And this leaf one. Alright, so there we go. And then I will save probably most of these things. And. I don't think I need any of those. Hmm. I might use a couple of these functionals. I'm not sure yet. So I'll keep that out just to be sure. But then I still have a little bit on here and a little bit on here. So her pages, her kits are very, very inclusive. But I said very because they're very inclusive. Okay, so here is the pages so far, or here are the pages so far. And I'm going to put my glitter washi away. And let's go ahead and start in on the functionals. So my son's birthday. The fourth, I'm going to put happy birthday here. And he loves penguins. And I have this little penguin. I'll put that there. And then Tuesday is my kitty cat's birthday. 
put that there. And Wednesday is also hump day, so I'll put the little hump day camel. And I need to post on Instagram every day, so I got seven of these out. Uh, I am doing the 12 cards of Halloween. So check that out. I'm giving a card away for every day that I did the, well, for, I'm giving 12 cards away. And you can watch over there and see what you need to do to enter to win. So that's what that reminder is for. And I'll need four more of them for next week, too. I think I'll move this down here. All right. So let's just go through the functionals I have over here. On Sa Friday, we are taking a road trip to my daughter's school. So there's that. <laughs> That's cute. And I need to pack, so I have this little sticker to remind me to do that. And it is litter changing day right here, and then also trash day. So let me find my trash sticker. Here it is. Trash day is actually Wednesday, but my son takes it out on Tuesday night usually. And then I have this little guy. He's eating pizza to remind me to meal plan, so I'm going to put that... Yeah, I think I'll just put it right here because that's going to be my meal plan. And I have a pumpkin spice latte and I'm going to put that on Sunday. I haven't had one yet, but I am going to get one one of these days. Planning time. I'm going to put that on Thursday because that's when I usually try to do silly camera cut off so I apologize I didn't get to finish what I was saying for everything and I went ahead and finished the planner so I think that what you guys missed was me putting down the planning time because I usually do that on Thursday I said and that is this is Thursday today that I'm doing I put pack on here so I'd remember to do that clean and mop floors and then post a card on Instagram and Friday I put bed and breakfast up here because we're staying at a bed and breakfast Friday night and Saturday night. And I'm going to put the information to that under here. And then it's parents weekend at Taylor. So I wrote that there. And I need to read. I also wrote check out at 10 a.m. And grocery. And then the carpet is being cleaned um, from 12 to 2 on Wednesday. And nails and laundry. And I wrote meal plan over here. I don't know if I did that on the camera or if that made it or not. But um, So this is for the week after that. And yeah, that's everything. So I'm going to go ahead and put this back in my planner. Is that right? No, that's not right. Yes, it is because that's grayed out so I was like what in the world what is it in there and start up at 12 I was confused for a minute now I do have some cute Halloween-y kind of stickers I don't know if I want to use these or not yet um, you know what why not so 31 days until Halloween would be this day right I don't even know let's just count it so I can know if this is Halloween, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. Yes, okay. So the 30th is 31 days. And then the 1st is 30 days. And then we'll just 
go from there. So 29. <laughs> Hi, Taz. Hi, baby boy. What you doing? Were you outside? Were you outside? -ed? Oh, you're so pretty. <laughs> He's so cute. And 28 days. Who's sighted, boy? Who's so sighted? Oh, you're so pretty. Oh, did I find a tickly spot? Oh my goodness, you're so cute. He's kind of chilly. Maybe it is a little chillier outside. Maybe I should take a walk before I go to bed. I like it when it's chilly and taking a walk. 27, 26, 25, 24. <laughs> Halloween used to be a lot more fun when the kids were small, but it's still a fun holiday. 23. So that's cute. And then, I don't know that I need any of those. Um, I do think that Saturday, we're, or, yeah, Saturday we're gonna go to the pumpkin patch, so maybe I should, not the pumpkin patch, the apple orchard. Maybe I'll put a little apple orchard guy. spooky movie. We should watch one on Sunday, maybe. And I don't know. I'm sure Fisher's plays on Friday, so I'm just going to put this down on Friday. I don't know who we play, but... And I'm going to do the same. Oh, this is December. What in the world? for this Friday coming up. There we go. Cute. Alrighty, so that's it. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a great day, and happy planning. Bye-bye.